Hi there and welcome to another Rack Nerd tutorial. You're with Dave and in this video I'm going to show you how to install OnlyOffice on a VPS. So you might be wondering what is OnlyOffice and why should I use it? Well with all the privacy concerns surrounding some of the Office cloud systems like Google Docs or O365, this is a great alternative and it's open source and best yet you get to run it and manage it yourself. So let me show you how easy it is to get this installed. The first thing we need is a powerful enough VPS. This VPS needs to have at least 6 gigabytes of memory and at least 40 gigabytes of hard drive space. I'll put a link in the description below where you can order one of these VPSs that would be suitable for this task. Okay, let's log in. I'll put in my password here. Now, I'm using Debian, but this will work on CentOS and it will also work on Ubuntu. Um, I prefer Debian 10 because uh, it's pretty bare bones. Um, but just a side note, if you do use it on CentOS, you do need to disable SE Linux. Um, and then what I'm doing here should work perfectly fine for you. Um, with Ubuntu, it's pretty much the same um, installation process. So here we are, we're logged into our virtual machine. First of all, we need to make sure the system is up to date. So we'll go apt update. Okay, so we got 96 packages to be upgraded. So we'll go app install, no, sorry, app upgrade. And we'll say yes to that. So this will take a little bit of time. Now when this comes up, we want to skip this. So we'll go OK. We won't select anything. And it says, do you want to continue without installing Grub? We go, yes, we do. And it's going to talk about um, configuring OpenSSH. Now you can do what you wish with this, but for this demo, I'm just going to keep the local version currently installed. So I hit Enter. Now there are a few things that I'd like to do before I install only Office. Um, because it just helps with um, configuration later on that you don't have to do. You may as well just do it now so it detects all the right variables. So we need to change the host name first. So we'll go uh, into our uh, nano and we'll go etc and we'll go host name. Now this is created by default when you um, purchase a VPS. So we'll go in here and we're going to call this office.racknerd demo.com and we're going to save that and then the next thing we need to do is change the host file as well so we'll go into that and we need to change this to office.racknerddemo.com and we'll save that Okay, now that is done, we need to reboot the system. So I'll be right back after I've done that. So to reboot the system, we go reboot. Now, as you can see, we're logged back into our VPS after the reboot, and we've got root at office.racknerddemo.com. Now you can see that by going hostname, and you can see that it is there. All right, so now we're ready to install only Office. So I have the script here, which will be in the link in the description below. It's just off the installation um, guide from only Office. And we want to go uh, wget and download this file. Okay, so there's the file that we need here. So we want to go bash workspace. We'll just tab that. And we hit enter. Now it is going to ask you if you want to install it with Docker. Now you can do it. But um, since um, I don't want a mail server, and as you can see, you'll need to install it manually if you do it through the RPM and Debian installation uh, dependencies. Um, I'm just gonna go no because um, I don't really need a mail server and I would just prefer it just to be this machine to be dedicated um, to this specific task. So I'm just gonna go no. Now it'll go off and install all the things it needs to install. This can take some time. Now, um, last time I did this, it took about 15 to 20 minutes. So make sure that um, your computer doesn't go to sleep. Make sure it's um, 
connected to the VPS at all times while this is happening. And um, we'll just leave the video here and we'll fast forward to the end once it's installed. It's installed successfully. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that um, before you do this, it's recommended that you um, have a domain name and you also uh, add an A record to point to this VPS. So in this case, we had Office um, as an A record and we pointed it to 104.194.250.154. And this is important because, um, as you'll see when I open up the web browser, um, it will go to uh, just a standard unsecured connection and we need to uh, put a Let's Encrypt certificate. So we'll do that in a sec, but I'll open up a web browser now and we'll type office.racknerddemo.com and it will come to a portal setup page. Now we need to enter in a password, so I'll do that here. We need to put an uh, email address. Um, now this is going to send you a confirmation um, to your email address, which you need to click on. So, um, but you can do that at any stage. I won't show that in this video, but we'll put uh, Dave at racknerddemo.com. And you can select your language and where you are, but I'll just leave it as default. And then we want to select this checkbox, which we're agreeing to the license agreements, and we click continue. All right, so here we are. This is um, only Office, and we can click on documents. And it's going to have some default demo documents. We can just click that, and we'll just delete them so we have a clean slate. Okay, so, I mean, it's all ready to go. So if we want to create a document, we can click document, give it a name, test, and it'll open up a new window, and look, it's basically Office, but you're hosting it, and you can do lots of things, blah, 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 blah. you can just, and it'll save automatically, you can download, um, you can create a PDF, you can do lots of things. It's also got versioning where you can see how it's ver.1. You can click that and you can see the versions and the edits, um, which is fantastic. And then if you want to uh, share it, you can click share, create an external link, you can shorten that link, and then you copy it, and then you can email it directly from here, or you could, there's the shared link, hit enter, and there's what we saved. I mean, it's it's fantastic, really. So um, you can click up here. You can also do projects, manage your projects, CRM. It's a full-on system, um, which is great for tracking projects. And you can even create invoices through using CRM. Um, now, this is the mail function I was talking about. Um, you can add an account and um, put in a Gmail account, and you can get all your emails right in this one place which is i mean it's pretty amazing that this is free now there are some things like your mobile app which is a little bit limited and it will ask you to upgrade to the enterprise version but i mean if you're using this for a business it's a pretty good tool now i did mention this is not secure at the moment um so we do need to add security to it so we need to make this secure so we'll bring up the terminal window and we need to paste this in. Now um, you would replace this in part office.racknerddemo.com with your own domain name and this will go off um, and register um, this office only office suite with Let's Encrypt and it will install it all itself. So we'll hit enter. Oh so you will see it requires cert bot so that's pretty easy to do. We go apt install cert bot and we go yes, if I can type. Okay, now once that's done, we can rerun that command that we um, that I said before, and we hit enter. Okay, so then if we refresh, we have a secure connection here, and it's verified by Let's Encrypt. How easy is that? Look, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have more videos like this coming out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.